can never ever find the right words And there's no way this is real life There's no telling you another video today guys i have something crazy to show you do you guys see what that is wait what yeah guys so holy shit this is my brother's car next to our first post lift they had the e36 m3 next to the post lift so finally have both lifts up these guys are so big these can hold up a car and i have a car underneath it so now we actually have two lifts in the garage i know it's kind of like out of nowhere you guys probably wondering what, what, what wait hold up what, what's going on yesterday i was celebrating my birthday with the fam and the boys came down here and put up the two lifts now they still need a lot of work they're nowhere even close to being done but they've done some insane progress and hopefully in no time we should have both these lifts up and running which is gonna be absolutely insane. We can have two cars here, two cars underneath them. We can fit about three cars right there. We'll have about, we'll have room for about seven cars. It's gonna be absolutely insane. I, I cannot wait for the ease. Once we can pick this car up, go underneath it, swap the trans, whatever it may be. So you guys saw pretty much this, 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 what's going on here with the hood. The hood had multiple layers. This was officially blue apparently, painted white, and it had plastic dip all over. I got all the plastic dip off. But now I'm trying to get all the white off and then I'm gonna try to respray the whole hood or something. I have to just do something with the hood. It's just, it's terrible. I don't know what happened. Well, when they applied the new paint, didn't even stand the hood. So the paint, the white paint just came off like it's nothing. It kind of sucks. It is what it is. So I'm definitely gonna have to get to work on this today. But before we get into that, this video is sponsored by Spade. So Spade is a pretty much a, a dash cam company, but they also integrated it into the mirror. So this is a cool little mirror thing they sent out. And I figured, you know what? Why not install it in the giveaway car for one of you guys? So you're gonna go ahead and install this in the E36 M3 so you guys can have a dash cam if someone tries to you know do some insurance fraud you have it all documented so that's pretty dope so let's go ahead and install this bad boy guys this is insane anyway i'm gonna go ahead and back up the car just a little bit and uh maybe even move jonathan's car out so we can have a little bit of room to work on the e36 m3 So I have a little mod I wanna show you guys. Before we get into that, let's do this mod real quick. So this is a full 2K dash cam. What I like about it, it has a wide view, which is another thing. So it has a, vi a wide view, anti-sun glare, which is super nice, a huge screen, and a whole just a whole bunch of things. You know, high definition back of view, a whole bunch of nice little features, all compacted, and at the same time, it still uses a mirror. Isn't that cool or what? Let's do a little unboxing real quick. So I'm gonna pull out the mirror. Oh, buddy. This thing is so long, that's insane. You actually get the tools, like pry tools, to actually put this stuff together. You have an SD card, 32 gigabytes, not even one of those stupid four gigabytes or eight gigabytes, 32 gigs, which is super nice. The whole wiring harness, we're gonna have to figure that out. And there's a surprise. Dang, you could just, I could just follow these steps and I can claim one of these free little, I can claim another SD card, a car charger. Dude, this is sick, what the heck? Even a window mount, what? So that's also included, that's super dope. Anyways, I'm just gonna do a little quick little install real quick. Something I've been trying to deal with, if you guys look at the rear view mirror, you can barely see out super foggy and fogged up. I don't really know what's going on. It turns out this kit comes with a backup camera. Wait, what? Let's see, if, if it's actually all gonna display on that screen, we got a dash cam, a backup camera, it's gonna be so sick. I bet it's gonna have cameras all around this car, which is gonna be super nice. You know, it'd be pretty cool on the track as well. We got some dash footage and some rear footage. Ooh, buddy, let's go ahead and install this. Something I thought I had to do is remove the original mirror, but this thing just clamps around the original mirror, which is super nice. So I can, I can have the feel of the original mirror. At the same time, the camera is still right here. It's like perfectly visible. Uh, let me go ahead and turn it on, show you guys the dash view. So if I turn it on, look at that. That's sick, what the heck? And then bam, the dash cam's working. SD card needs to be formatted. Guys, yeah, so right now I'm installing the backup camera. So I have the wire going up here. I just pretty much tucked it in, tucked it in. I tucked it in behind this little A pillar. And it's coming down. I still gotta tuck it in some more. I'm basically getting I'm basically trying to get it over here. And since this chain is all missing, I don't have the rear seats, it's easy to just pretty much take it to the back. So uh, I just gotta route this a little bit and then it should be a lot nicer. Luckily the wire is pretty long, so hopefully it should make it back to the back. So 
So I just went ahead and removed this back piece with four screws and then went ahead and just mounted the camera there. I think that's a perfect spot to do it. And then we'll route the wire right through here. All right guys, so I just wanna let y'all know where I'm at right now. So basically, I have the camera right here. I just gotta tighten up the screws on the sides to fix it where I want it. I'm gonna do it when the, when the trunk's actually closed. I got the wire routed from behind this little plastic piece. Like once you take off this white piece, I got routed behind this, behind this light. So the light's at a slight curve, but it's fine. You can't even notice it compared to this one, so that's cool. Once I did that, I just routed the wire right through here and I connected it to this wire. So this wire is a separate piece. I went in and just stick something right there when the trunk is closed. I don't want to go through the gasket, so it'll be fine this way. So all I gotta do now is pretty much route, route the wire in a way to where when I close the trunk, the wire won't stick out. That'd be nice. So they have these little clips that came with it. So I'm just gonna go ahead and grab the wire and clip it down, and then basically when the trunk closes, I'll be good to go. I'm fine with one wire sticking like that, it's no big deal. You could always go through this, but this is gonna be an absolute pain trying to route it, so I'm not gonna do that. And then as for this red, uh, this is the reverse light cable, so you gotta tap this into a reverse light. All right guys, I'll work on the, the wiring later. I tapped into the reverse light back here, um, so that's what I did. Other than that, so I tapped into the reverse light. I have pretty much the wiring done here. It's all routed, so I'm gonna go ahead and just reclip things up here and just test out the camera. I routed the wire right through here, so when it closes, I'll show you guys the angle. So when it closes, the wire stays inside. So that's what I did there. Um, this is a kind of my janky wire. You can go ahead and just do something like that. I don't really care. I still think it's like whatever. It's not too noticeable. I don't really think it's a big of a deal. Anywho, ah, this thing needs some shocks, but there we go. Everything's on there. We got the reverse camera there too. So I'm gonna go ahead and just tighten this down. I think like right there is a good angle. So I'm gonna go ahead and tighten that down right there. And let's go ahead and test out the camera. All right guys, just like that, backup camera is installed. So we're good to go on that. Let's go ahead and jump in here. Ah, bucket seats. Feels so good, I love it. Kinda wish I had a racing wheel in here too. I probably wanna do that end of the day. Whoever the winner is, make sure you throw in a stupid nice wheel in here. All right, so I still got a whole bunch of wiring here for the actual power. Let's go ahead, turn on the car. So you guys can see, it's just a regular mirror right now. It looks really good. If I go ahead and turn it on. Ooh, <laughs> what? Can you guys see that? So that's the back of camera. If I go ahead and swipe this way, we got the front and the back. It's super dimmed down on camera for some reason, but oh, here's a better angle. So you got the front camera, the rear camera, just the front, just the back. Oh, this looks so sick. The quality is insane, guys. What the hell? And obviously, you can just tap on it and record even both of them, your front and rear. You see that button? So that's super sick, or if you wanna just turn this off, and you got a mirror. This is sick. I'm gonna go ahead and just wire in this right now, we're good to go. What I'm gonna go ahead and do to route this wire, I'm, I went ahead and removed this guy right here. Uh, to wait, the way to remove this is quite easy, honestly. This is actually kind of broken, but uh, you just put your finger down here, and there's you can literally push up and pull that whole thing out, and then you finally have access to basically if you look back here, I have like a little hole cut out. I don't know if all E36s are like this, or you can just drill a hole yourself. And basically, you can route this wire straight through there, behind here, and then the, from the bottom in here, and just pretty much tuck it all the way like that. So that's what I'm gonna go ahead and do. Let me see if that's effective. I got the wire routed right through the hole, and it's coming out of down here. So now I just got the route, this is pretty easy. And just like that, guys, all the wires got routed. For some reason, I don't think this belongs to this car. There's no screws to hold this thing up. This is how it was before, and uh, this is also sagging, but I'm also missing this little chimp piece here. So anyways, I got all the wires routed all the way up, both of them to the screen. Got the backup camera installed. The wire is right here getting routed. Uh, so basically, when we go ahead, so basically, if the new owner decides to either do a seat delete or put in new seats, um, he'll be able to because I pretty much routed the wires in a way that he can put the seats right over, no problem. And same goes for this guy. Now, this is actually pretty much tapped in. Um, he can always unplug that and put something else. I'll put like a double uh, lighter socket, whatever it is. But anywho, go ahead and test it out, make sure everything's working. So now that everything is wired up, turn on the car. This is how the wiring looks. There's only two wires, it's no big deal at all. Damn. Front and back front back let's just do front and back record oh, i was actually recording already dang check that out that is so let me go ahead and put it in reverse oh that's so sick it's so wow it's very responsive and i just set the settings to where now if the if I, i'm viewing the cameras and i don't need it anymore it's going to automatically turn off after a minute or you can just go ahead and turn off from right here i, I just pretty much put it in screensaver or just turn off in about a minute. So anyway, shout out to Spade for that cool mod. Whoever the winner of this car is, you got a free cool mod and it's already fully installed with the backup camera. So what E36 comes with the backup camera? This one does. If you guys like the features, make sure you check it out down below. And we got a second thing to make this car, you know, more luxury, more and more modern. We got cameras now. What else do we need? We, we need we need Bluetooth. If you guys have an E36 M3, um, and you guys know these cars don't have Bluetooth, I actually found this thing on eBay. Uh, I already charged it pretty much and you just throw it in here, I guess. Little cassette. Then you have this little thing, and I guess you hold it until you see that blinking light. Let's play some music. In the 
Yep, in the morning. Not bad, so we got Bluetooth now. It's quick and easy. So now that we got Bluetooth, backup cameras, a brand new mirror, let's start cleaning off this hood. This is how the hood is looking like right now. So again, I, I was completely surprised the hood is green. So basically it had a uh, plasti dip and on top and underneath the plasti dip there was white and underneath the white there was green. And you guys can clearly see the green was never sanded so that's why the white paint ain't sticking. So as of now, I don't really know what I'm gonna be doing. I don't know if I should just, you know, sand the whole hood down, wrap it in white for now. I, I really don't know, maybe wrap it in carbon. I'm not really too sure. Cause if I go ahead and repaint this for about $200, it's not gonna, patch, it's not gonna match the rest of the car cause the car paint is not that great. It, it needs a little bit of work. This is a project car and I'm not getting funded to do this. This is completely coming out of my pockets. I've been already spent a lot of money on this. I don't know if I could spend too much more cause again, I'm giving this, I'm giving this away completely free. So this is kind of a project for the next owner. By the same time, this hood is looking really bad. So let me know if I should wrap it in carbon and white or something for the meantime time so the next owner could probably figure out what else you can do with it or maybe just paint it again in black and i don't know i mean i'd rather paint it in white than black but i don't know you guys let me know if the winner ends up choosing cash over the car then we're gonna go, we're gonna pretty much sand the whole car down and wrap the whole car but if the winner ended up choosing the car i try to keep contact with him so you guys can see his progression on this build hopefully he swaps out the manual training hopefully he wraps the whole car hopefully he paints the whole car hopefully he restores it and hopefully he makes the inside a full track car because that's stuff, that's something that i would do if the winner ends up deciding to take the cash meantime uh it's the best i can do right now now, uh, I'm just gonna go ahead and wash my butte real quick and I'll get back to you guys in a second and I just finished up cleaning the butte so she's looking so perfect oh my lord anywho i think it's time you guys saw pretty much how much we've done to the e36 m3 pretty much got it to a pretty good point to where it's ready for the new owner now the owner i have no idea who's gonna be i don't know if he's gonna be local i don't know if he's gonna be across the world it's gonna be literally anybody in the world that can win this car and he gets to decide whether he wants to come pick this up and sign pretty much some documents saying that this is all his whatever and it's completely detached from me or and then i'm gonna be keeping this car and pretty much transforming it into like the dream spec m3 which i'm gonna probably solve with the manual probably gonna get a hard top probably gonna redo the whole exterior and thank god for these lifts that all that all that job right there should be a whole lot easier so if the winner decides to take the cash we'll go full send if he decides to take the car we're still gonna be looking for another m3 on the channel guys if you guys want me to announce the winner in the next video get this video to 1500 likes and i'll announce the winner in the next video so make sure to smash that like button and without further ado guys i love y'all so much remember to stay humble i see you guys in the next one peace out yeah yeah let's go i ain't the first with the curse with the thirst that i wanna be better not worse man it hurts i'm on this earth with my words and i put them all together in cert because i wanna have worth